All right, so if you're thinking about starting FPV for the first time and you search online, most of the people probably are gonna be telling you to get a radio and start with the simulator. Just go and try it first to see if you like it. But what these people did not tell you is how do you actually set up your radio to your like simulator for like when you plug it in, like how does it work? So in this video, I'm basically just gonna be showing you that step-by-step. Step. We're just gonna be connecting this radio to the simulator. This tutorial is basically gonna be working for most of the HTX radios and most of the simulators. All right, without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so to connect the radio to the simulator is actually quite simple. All you need to do is come to the computer and then you're gonna power up your radio. Welcome to HTX. And once you have powered up your radio, all you need to do is to plug it in with a USB-C cable. So most of the HTX radio should be this simple. So if you also have the Radio Master radios, the one you wanted to plug in the USB port is gonna be one on the top as it also has one on the bottom. This one is only for charging. So just plug in the one on the top and then you can see that this is gonna basically pop out additional options for you to select. So what you have to do is to select the USB -C, a USB joystick option and then one, your computer should basically be connected with the, this option. Next, let's actually switch view to our computer. So at our computer, you're basically going to launch your simulator. And for this particular video, we'll be using a liftoff micro drones just so we can demo it. All right, so let's just wait until it comes out. Well, so once you arrive this page, all you need to do, probably have to register whatsoever, but most of the simulators are gonna be the same. So just go into the options right here and you're gonna to go to the controller. So at the controller tab, basically what we're doing right here is to make sure that the whoop is actually moving the way we want it to move. So you can see that, okay, if my throttle is going up like that and if my yaw is actually moving like this and pitch is doing pitch and roll is doing roll. So you wanted to make sure that the the direction is correct. And if you're unsure, just basically hit the calibrate and just you can calibrate it like this. Okay, center all sticks, just basically follow the prompt on the screen. And yeah, so this one, it wants me to do throttle. So this is my throttle and center all sticks again. Okay, so we're assigning the pitch. So pitch is this one. All right, roll. Okay, same drill, put it back. All right, it wants me to assign yaw. Okay, so the yaw axis is correct. All right, so once you're done, just basically do it again to make sure that you're actually getting the stick inputs correct and once you're done just basically go back to the previous page and yeah basically your calibration has been complete okay so once the calibration has been completed we're basically going to you can st we can start fly this so let's just go to the single player and you can select whichever drone you like and you can yeah basically i like the mobula 7 because yeah this is the one that I actually have in real life so very very fun all right, so we're gonna fly this Melon Pen Park. It's kind of like a Japan theme thing, so pretty nice. All right, let's fly this. So during the loading, let's actually talk about the the control. So this is gonna be a throttle, y'all, like same as before, pitch and roll. So just so your just so the basic flight movements is basically you have to always like keep your throttle like kind of like here, like about forty percent to make it float. And when you're turning, you kind of like mix this. If you just use yaw, probably just gonna do that. But if you wanted to turn like a little bit more, basically a little bit more edgy, you probably have to mix a little bit roll and also pitch into it in order for the drone to like turn to the direction you want. All right, so since this video is mainly just to show you like how to connect your radio to the simulator the first time, we're not gonna go in deep to like the stick movements and how to fly because that's something that it's going to be a step different subject all right so if you have additional questions or comments please feel free to leave it down below and remember to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye for now